Hi, this is Barbara Rademacher again, and uh, this is where we left off in the previous video. Let's move on. Yes, you can take a negative and then a cube root. Ah, but we haven't done this yet. Okay, after this, after the cube root, there is no special button. So, well, that is, there is a special button, but it's special for all of these. So if you have an index, that's what this is called, if you have a root, okay, if you have the index of a root that's bigger than three, this is what you have to do. Turn on your calculator. I'm going to get rid of those key presses. You are going to have to tell the calculator before you do anything else, I am going to be working with root 4. Then you push the math button, and then you come down to number 5 right there. X root. And whatever number you put in front, we just put a 4. That's what the calculator understands that X is going to be enter. So this is what we have now. We have the fourth root. If you have a TI-84, you can actually see that you have a fourth root. If you have a TI-83, you don't. You just have a four out in front. So you have to remember that that's what you're doing. The TI-84 is pretty nifty for showing this stuff. Let's say 16 and then hit the right arrow there to let the calculator know you're done and hit enter. Yes, 2 is the fourth root of 16. Why? Because if you take 2 and you raise it to the fourth power, there's that 4, there's that 4, and then push your right arrow key and hit enter, you get back the number you started with. These are very closely related expressions. The fourth root of 16 is 2 because if you raise 2 to the fourth power, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, you'll get 16. And that's how roots work and why they work. Clear and clear. Okay, oh, so I was just going to leave it behind there. Check answer. Excellent. We move on. Negative the fourth root of 1. Oh, what could that be? Negative, and then 4, and then math, and then a quick way to get down to 5 is just to push the number 5. Ah, now that is not going to work. Okay. That's a little prop. Well, let's see what it does. This is new. One half. No, nope, no, nope. no. Doing that will not help you on the TI-84. Let's see what we need to do. I'm going to push the negative button, then the left parenthesis, then four, then math, then five, then 16. Now, hit the right arrow first, then close your parentheses. Now, let's see if we get the right answer there. Yes, we do. Now, y is negative 2, the fourth root of 16 when there's a negative in front. And the answer is this. Use parentheses, negative 2, parentheses closed, raise it to the fourth power, the same as the index. And you get the number you started with. Negative 2 is the fourth root of negative, well, it's all getting complicated, isn't it? Anyway, that's what's going on. Okay. Now let's clear 
and clear and move on. What about the fourth root of negative one? Let's see. Fourth, math, five, negative one, right arrow, enter. Non-real, yes. Whenever your index is an even number, any even number, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, you cannot take that root of a negative number ever. It's not defined in our number system. So you just, your calculator will remind you if you forget. Okay, clear and clear. 18. The fifth root, well, now we have nothing really new. Now we have to tell the calculator that you're going to be looking for a fifth root. So I'll say five, and then I'll say math, and now I have to go down to number five, so I'll say five. And what number am I putting in? 243, right arrow. Enter. Well, 3. 3 is the fifth root of 243. Oh, why? Oh, tell me why. Because if you take 3 and raise it to the fifth power, the answer you're going to get is the number you started with, 243. Notice the index and the power are exactly the same. Clear. Clear. 19. Well, I've already done that. 20. Oh, how ugly is that? Can we do this? I don't know. Let's try. Okay. I'm going to say 5, math, 5, negative, 3, 1, 2, 5, divided by, ooh, 9, 7, 6, 5, notice we don't put the commas, 6, 2, 5, and do, please hit the right arrow key because we're about to math frack. Math, enter, enter. Negative one-fifth. Why is that? It's because, parentheses, uh, negative one divided by, divided by five, parentheses closed, raised to the fifth power. Now I'm going to hit the right arrow key because I'm going to math frack this. Uh, well, that didn't really work out, did it? Let's see what this says. Negative toolbar fraction tool, 1, 5. Well, it says I'm right. So, I am going to hazard a guess that if we just took this number in here, let's do it. If we were to just take this number in here, we would get that. It would simplify down to that. I betcha. All right, let's try it. N neg uh, oh, no. Negative. 3, 1, 2, 5 over 9, 7, 6, 5, 6, 2, 5. And I am just going to math frack this. Math Enter, enter. Look at that. This simplifies to that. 
we could have simplified it first and then taken the fifth root. Ain't math wonderful? Okay, that's why that works. Amazing. Clear. Clear. Let's move on. The sixth root. Well, you can probably do this by yourself, but let's do one anyway. Six. Math. Five. One, divide, seven, two, nine, right arrow key. Math, I'm going to frack this, so enter, enter, and we get one third. Oh, how could that be true? Because, parentheses, one divided by three, parentheses closed, raised to what power? The sixth power right arrow key. I'm going to math frac this so that I'll get a fraction answer. Math, enter, enter. There I get that. I get the number I started with. That's how all of this roots and radical stuff works. Clear and clear. 22, back to a square root. 23, negative square root. Notice that square roots don't have an index. They do, but you're not going to learn that in this video. 24, we can take a third root, a cube root rather. Oh, now this is interesting. Let's do this. If you take the square root of 17 raised to the second power. Now I absolutely have to hit the right arrow key to get me down and then out. So I'm going to have to hit it twice. And then enter 17. You see there's an invisible 2 index here. And you're going to see that when the index and the exponent under the radical are the same, the answer is just the big number that's called the base. There, we're right. Now, what do you think the answer here will be? If you answer negative 1, that would make sense, but it's wrong. Why? Because in our number system, negative 1 will be squared and become a positive 1 before we take the square root, and the square root of 1 is 1. Let's watch. Let me clear and clear. Now, I'm going to take second x squared, the square root, of, we have to use parentheses in the calculator when we're using a negative number, parentheses, negative 1, parentheses closed, up arrow, 2. Now remember, when, you haven't, when you've done that, when you've put a power on the inside of a radical, you're going to have to click your right arrow key twice. Okay, now enter. The answer is 1. Again, order of operations. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. That will happen before you take the square root. How nice to have a calculator that knows order of operations. Okay, I'll talk to you soon.